friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I went to a brand new grocery store this week, lots of new food finds, a really exciting haul, amazing recipes coming your way on Monday for meal prep, lots of good stuff in today's video. So if you're excited, give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and of course lets me know to keep putting out these grocery hauls every single Saturday. If you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. I'd absolutely love to have you here in my YouTube community. It's a pretty great place to be. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. That way you know exactly what you should be eating every day to stay on track, lose weight, maintain weight, whatever your healthy lifestyle goals are. You'll also find 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. Let me help you one-on-one -on -one reach your goals. It's great to connect and to establish a friendship via one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So check that out down in the description box. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things, and my Facebook group is also down below. So head on over and join that community as well. We'd absolutely love to have you. So we have a grocery haul to do, a meal prep, and a meal plan to go over, so let's jump in. So here is this week's grocery haul. It was a fun week. I actually went to a store that I have never grocery shopped at. That is Winco Foods. And at the end, I'll share with you guys kind of my thoughts on that. But I did decide to go there and going there, I found a lot of new food finds that I'm pretty excited about. And then of course, I made my way to Trader Joe's to pick up my produce and found a few new fun things there as well. So let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. First, I picked up kombucha, two bottles of the gingerberry, and then two bottles bottles of the Sacred Life. They're kind of seasonal kombucha. I did pick these up at Winco. They were the same price as I can buy them at Trader Joe's. I also wanted some bread and butter chips for salads, my wraps. You guys know I like to make the chicken wraps on the tortilla with the laughing cow and I love bread and butter pickles. So I decided to pick these Mount Olive ones up. A can of tomato paste for a dinner recipe and a can of organic diced tomatoes. I will say that I was pretty disappointed in Winco selection of organic. There was zero organic tomato paste. So I ended up having to just pick up conventional tomato paste and tomatoes are on the dirty dozen. So I always like to pick that up organic. I did find this new hummus. This is the sprouted organic hummus guy. So this is the hummus guy and this is an organic hummus. It is roasted red pepper. This looks so good. I've actually never seen this before. So if this is something that I like, I definitely would repurchase at Winco. It was $3.50, which is not bad for organic hummus. Another new Winco find is this Opa Dippity Greek yogurt dip is strawberry delight. It's 60 calories for two tablespoons. This is by the brand Lighthouse. I've actually never seen this before, but I did get strawberries and I thought that that would be kind of a really good sweet treat and a little bit of protein that comes from the Greek yogurt. Some shredded sharp cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's. This is just full fat cheese. I'm back on the full fat cheese train. I like light cheese, but there's just certain times that I just want the full fat cheese and I love sharp cheddar. So I picked up a big bag. Uncured Ham Black Forest from Trader Joe's is my favorite lunch meat and we are out of lunch meat. And that's another thing I like to just keep on hand because sometimes I just want a protein snack and lunch meat comes in really handy for that. And Winco had this Wilmot Farms cheese tray. Now this was about 12 cents less than I can pick it up at Trader Joe's. So not really a huge savings, but it's mild cheddar, Swiss, Colby Jack, and Pepper Jack. We all know what this is for. Troy's meat, cheese, and crackers. Trader Joe's had a brand new one bar. This is the fruity cereal. So this actually just came out. I have not tried this yet. It's limited edition, 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. To be honest with you, I can't remember if I even like the one bars, but I'm gonna give this a shot. It was $1.99 at Trader Joe's. And again, it is a new flavor and it is fruity cereal. One third less fat cream cheese. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. And then whatever's left over, I like to spread that on toast, English muffins or bagels. 
New find at Trader Joe's is their Speculose Crunchy Cookie Butter Spread. Now they also had creamy, but I opted for crunchy. Hello, there's cookies in there, so I want crunchy cookies. So I was pleasantly surprised that this is actually only 170 calories for two tablespoons. So it's actually less calories than traditional peanut butter. I had to get it. It's in this nice glass jar and who doesn't love a good cookie butter? Low fat cottage cheese for a dinner recipe. I generally prefer full fat just for eating, but for dinner recipes and for baking and cooking, I don't mind getting a low fat or fat free option. A big container of Lowry's garlic salt. This is our very, very favorite garlic salt. I know it doesn't have the perfect clean ingredients, but it is so, so delicious and flavorful. I also was out of allspice, so I picked that up, just the small jar at Winco. A can of no salt added cut green beans for the dogs. They are completely out of green beans, so I wanted to restock for the week. A big jar of green olives. Troy loves green olives, and I noticed that we were running pretty low in the fridge. Now, this was a good price. This was $2.50 at Winco, so I thought that that was really good for the large jar of olives. This is actually a 15 ounce jar. New food find at Winco. These are the new bake Philo crisps, handmade in apple cinnamon. These look so delicious. They are 40 calories per Philo crisp, 10 servings per container. They have decent ingredients. They do use canola oil, which I don't love, and dextrose, which is basically another form of sugar and then maltodextrin in natural flavor. So they're not the cleanest in the world, but I wanted to try them. They only had a few boxes left, so I figured that they were good if they were almost sold out. So everything in moderation. So I'm excited to give these a try as a sweet treat. Speaking of sweet treats, I picked up a couple others because all I have left in my pantry for desserts is a few partake cookies. These red vines are actually for Troy. He is obsessed with red licorice. So I thought that I would surprise him and pick him up a pack. And I did decide to get these Lucky Charm treat bars. Now I've seen these all over YouTube. They're only a hundred calories. I really wanted the Reese's one, but they didn't have it. I've actually never purchased these. But again, I thought as a good sweet treat, I do want to say that I try to eat clean most of the time. When it comes to sweet treats, I, that is where I use the 80-20 approach. 20% my favorite sweet treats as well as my coffee creamer. So I do make exceptions. I don't eat these every single day, but when I want something sweet, I thought that this would be a great option because Lucky Charms is my all time favorite cereal. I needed some more Panko breadcrumbs and honestly, I couldn't find them at Winco. I went up and down several aisles and never found them. So I just picked them up at Trader Joe's. Troy also asked for some French onion dip for crackers and veggies. Maybe he wants to put this on his meat and cheese. I don't know, he asked for it. So I picked it up. A loaf of nature's own butter bread for a recipe. I needed another loaf of low point bread and he's actually been eating this for toast and sandwiches. So we're just about out with from the loaf I picked up last week. I was pleasantly surprised at how many options of La Tortilla Factory tortillas they had at Winco. They had some flavors I'd never seen like a whole grain and then everything flavored in a sun-dried tomato. But I did just pick up the flour, the six flour tortilla wraps. These are really good and they have nice, nice clean ingredients. Much cleaner than the Olay wrap. So if I can find them, I do like to pick them up. I made a quick run by the bulk bin and decided to pick up some fun little Easter candy. Again, sweet treats. What I love about these is these mini eggs are my all time favorite candy at Easter. They're very high in calories and points, but these are like really, really small bags. Same with the Robin eggs, the little mini, mini Reese's eggs. I mean, really mini Reese's eggs and little tiny Kit Kats. So I don't know the points. I'm gonna see if I can find them in the app, but they're really small. I think this is about this is about half the size of the regular little bag. So I would imagine that these little bags will be under 100 calories, which is just a great way to get in your favorite Easter candy without breaking the points and calorie bank. I picked up some Stonefire non-dippers to go with my hummus. I couldn't believe the price on these. I pay a f over $4 for this tub at Kroger. This was $2.50 at Winco. So I had to pick it up. I love the non-dippers. You can have four of them for the points, which is not bad at all. And I thought that they would be really delicious dipped in this hummus. So that's going to be a snack for this next week. Beef, bean and cheese, chimichangas for Troy. He is home, as you guys know, on medical leave. So I like to have easy things that he can throw in the microwave if we don't have any leftovers. So I picked these burritos up for him. And I've never
never seen these before and you guys I love red robins fries love them so I thought that I would pick these up and we could pop them in the air fryer 10 fries is only 110 calories and that is much better than if I were to go get fries at red robin so I picked those up and then I also did the Arby's curly fries again we love these we actually had these with dinner last night I made euros and we had the Arby's fries with them these are so delicious so I had to pick up another bag of those everything else is produce so a big bag of lemons the organic lemons at Trader Joe's were huge and there was only two lemons per bag and I put these in my water every day so I just opted for conventional lemons I'll just make sure I wash them really well I did pick up some organic cremini mushrooms for a dinner recipe and I ordered the garlic press and garlic roller from Pampered Chef. So I decided to pick up some organic fresh garlic. I'm trying to move away from minced garlic into fresh and that's why I bought that garlic press. So we'll see how that goes. See if I notice a big flavor difference in my food. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys notice a big difference with actual garlic instead of the minced garlic in a jar. Organic broccoli florets. This is for a beef and broccoli recipe. And then I picked up some romaine just because I'm feeling some salads. I'm needing a gen salad in my life. So I picked some romaine up for that. And then also some spinach. This is for a dinner recipe. And I do like to mix the spinach with the romaine for my salads. I did grab this big bag of organic autumn glory apples. So it says sweet cinnamon caramel. Now I've never had these before. Every time I've seen them, they haven't been organic and apples are also on the dirty dozen. So I always like to pick them up organic. I'm excited for these. I need a couple of apples for a recipe. And then I thought that I could just have this with some cinnamon or some nut butter and then lots of berries. I did pick up a small pack of organic blackberries organic blueberries and then organic strawberries which is for that dip that i bought so yeah lots of berries also i like berries on my gen salad so that is everything that i picked up for the week let's get into what you will see on monday in meal prep and what i have planned for this week's menu so here is the meal planner that I released a few weeks ago. You can still pre-order these for the next batch going to the printer. So I'll make sure that this is linked on my nutrition coaching website for you. This is the meal planner I've been using every single week. This is what I've been using to plan my menu. And then here's my grocery list that I detach and take with me to the grocery store. So here's this week's meal plan. This is the week of February 27th through March 5th. Can you even believe we're almost into March? It's crazy. So today is an out to dinner day. I'm not sure what we're doing. We talked about a pizza night with some friends since restaurants are just reopening here. So that's a possibility. I'm not 100% sure, but it is my high calorie high point day. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making lasagna, which you will see in next week's meal prep. This is a healthy lasagna and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Monday is a beef and broccoli stir fry. We haven't had beef and broccoli in a while. Tuesday, I go to jazzercise, so it is always a left overnight. Wednesday, I'm doing pretzel air fryer tenders. So you could cook these in the oven or your air fryer. It's basically chicken coated with pretzels. So that sounds amazing. And then a creamy corn casserole, and I'll pair that with probably chicken. I'm not sure yet, but I'm really excited about the corn casserole recipe. And then Friday's always leftovers as well because I like to finish up any leftovers from these other meals during the week. What you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep, I'm going to be prepping caramel apple French toast muffins. Yum. In my meal prep this next week. These sound so good. Lunch, I'm making a pizza bowl. This is a healthy, clean eating pizza bowl. And this also sounds incredible. And then for a snack, I'm making a peanut butter crumble bar. I love peanut butter and I've been craving it like crazy. So I decided to incorporate it into this week's snack. So definitely stay tuned on Monday to see all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Grocery Haul. It was really fun going to a new grocery store. I didn't find the prices at Winco to be any less, honestly, than Walmart, and I had to bag my own groceries, and just the environment of the store just wasn't my favorite, so I probably won't shop there on a regular basis. Now, I will go back time and time again to see if they have new products. I did really enjoy their bulk section. I'd like to spend a little bit more time there as well, but overall, I'll stick with my Walmart. Walmart, my Target, and my Kroger shopping. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the little subscribe button. I'd absolutely love to have you join my community. Check out the description box again for nutrition coaching, macros, and calories, links and discounts to my favorite things, 
and my Facebook group. Stay tuned on Monday to see all three of those meal prep recipes. You're not going to want to miss Monday's meal prep video, I promise. I'll see you guys all in my next video, which is tomorrow, Sunday. I have a really important video coming out on a question that I am asked all the time. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Have a wonderful Saturday and I'll see you next time. Bye.